gravitating to the left hand corner. Okay. The bison herd in Pelican Valley has recovered. Yellowstone biologists want to put radio collars on a number of bison. The one that you can get to in this little group in the To drive. track their movements in the park. You could break either way if you needed to. Yeah. Wildlife vet Steve Sweeney is part of the modern hunting party. Well, the greater group tendency has been... Bison ecology team leader Rick Wallen will run the darting operation. Those two are going in. Rachel, you want to back up about 20, 30 yards? The bison team needs to dart and capture a number of bison to attach a GPS radio collar to track their movements in the park. Rick, Mark, we got the animal picked out. We're going to try to move into position, and we'll let you know when the, the dart's off. It's the one around the corner here, about 30 yards out in front of us. She's moving the right direction. Um, let's just hold tight and see what happens. Don't take any risks with a crosswind. Um, if you have to, go ahead and swing around to your left and get a downwind shot. Doug Blanton, the youngest member of the bison team, will use an extremely accurate dart gun powered by compressed air. The tranquilizing dart carries a dose of carcentanil, a fast-acting and reversible narcotic that is 10,000 times more powerful than morphine. Do you want the range line or something? Good placement. Excellent. Well done, Doug. It'll take about three minutes for the drug to take effect on the large female. The team watches and waits until they feel it is safe to approach. The herd gathers around the bison, curious and alarmed. Beale and Blanton cover the downed bison's head with a towel to protect her eyes. A large bull moves in to protect the cow. The biologists must start monitoring the vital signs of the tranquilized bison. Mark Beal takes a novel approach to moving the 2,000-pound bull back. A quick shot of harmless grizzly bear pepper spray sends the bull on his way. Very nice. The capture team has less than 30 minutes to take blood and DNA samples and fit a GPS radio collar on the sleeping animal. Veterinarian Sweeney monitors the bison's vital signs while the biologists take their samples and prepare to fit the three pound GPS collar. The collar will take point locations using a satellite fix three to five times a day for the next 10 months. A VHF signal will allow traditional telemetry tracking from the ground and air. A release mechanism on the leather collar will allow the receiver to fall off so the scientists can retrieve the data. Okay, reversal's on, guys. And we're gonna have to step back here real quick because within two minutes, she's gonna start being able to hold her head up. The team finishes without any complications. The bison is back on her feet and joins the herd. Today, the bison in Pelican Valley appear to be the luckiest herd in Yellowstone Park. Like their ancestors, the valley's isolation may help protect them from the dangers that lie across park borders. The bison in Hayden Valley, west of Pelican Creek, worry wildlife managers. In the winter, they migrated toward the western border of Yellowstone, where they can be shot or captured and sent to slaughter. Yeah, the weather's good, there's no wind. It's about 15 degrees out this morning. The next day, the team is back in the field to collar a bison in Hayden Valley. Well, we won't be over Their here. mission is to find a group of bison above Elk Antler Creek, a good go. distance from the main road. On everybody. Bison ecology team leader Rick Wallen will use the dart rifle on this trip. They want to put a collar on a young female to learn about bison movements in Hayden Valley and their winter migration towards the western border. Hayden Valley is known for severe winter weather. The deep snow and temperatures as low as 60 below zero force the bison to migrate to lower ground in search for food. With a radio collar on one bison in a herd, Wallen can track the group. It might be from here back into the trees. The bison are found several miles from the road. 
We're ready to move in. Our objective is the middle third of the group, animal number four. You don't want to point it at anyone's toe. Range finder binoculars are used to judge the distance to the bison and adjust the power of the dart gun. We have a light breeze blowing that direction. Does this look like the behavior you observed up and down? Excellent placement. Can you call and say we have a dart in? Left hip. A young bison senses something is wrong and sniffs the dart as the drug takes effect and the female bison goes down. The herd gathers around to protect her. They run off as the team moves in to put on the GPS collar. <laughs> As the crew begins to work, the herd returns to investigate, and some young bison moves in a bit too close. A little snow is all it takes to move them back. It takes only a few minutes for the team to fit the collar and check the signal. As they move off, the bison begins to wake up. Oh, that looks great. The rest of the herd returns to help her to her feet. Oh, that looks excellent. The collared bison will be known as number 009, she and the rest of her family will soon be making the long trek from Hayden Valley across Mary Mountain to the Firehole River. Wallen and his team will track her progress. If the winter is mild, they will graze peacefully around thermal areas and warm riverbanks. If the winter is harsh, they may migrate down the rivers and join other bison that have migrated out of the park onto Forest Service land. If this happens, they must return to the park by the May 15th deadline or face capture and death. A warm March Chinook wind blows into Yellowstone. It brings wet snow and melts the top layer of deep powdery snow. When the cold returns, a hard crust forms over the snowpack and the bison find it hard to move and find food. Bison in the north of Yellowstone are the first affected by the hard snow crust. Large numbers move 2,000 feet lower toward exposed grass along the northern border. On the western border, the Montana Department of Livestock is in charge of capturing bison that leave the park. On the northern border, it's the Park Service responsibility to keep the migrating bison in the park. The northern border runs along a private ranch that grazes cattle. There is no leeway here, no May 15th deadline that allows for some movement across the border. The bison are not tolerated on private land in Montana. Rangers on horseback try to haze them away from the border. But again and again, they return. Finally, a fateful decision is made. Park rangers and biologists are charged with the painful task of capturing the animals they also protect. Well, we have a responsibility not to let animals go beyond the park boundary at Reese Creek, just down valley here. Wallen's team tests the captured bison for brucellosis. Those that test positive are sent to slaughter. This year, as an experiment, some uninfected animals are vaccinated against the disease with an unproven U.S. brucellosis vaccine. They are still awaiting the improved Russian vaccine that can be delivered in the field without subjecting the bison to the stress of capture. Standing on the, the platform with the clipboard and being the one calling out whether an animal goes to slaughter or, or goes back into the holding pen and released back into the park um, has emotional feelings. And um, I think um, from a personal perspective, it's, it's hard to, to see animals disappear for a reason that um, is, is politically driven. When the dust settled at Stevens Creek, the Park Service had captured 462 bison. 198 that tested negative for brucellosis were held for release in the spring. 264 were sent to slaughter. With capture operations finished on the northern border, park officials wait to see what will happen along the western boundary. If heavy spring snows fall, more bison may leave the park. If they're not back in Yellowstone by May 15th, they can be captured and sent to slaughter. The weather over the next three weeks could bring life or death to hundreds of wandering bison. 
Tuesday. Be prepared for anything. You'll be sitting there one moment and you can be dead the next. Tuesday nights are on the attack. It all starts at 8 with an all-new killing for...